Korea from Hidden Truth Tarot. All right, you guys, so this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Monday, the 11th of April, 2022. All right, you guys, so... I will be using positive affirmations at the end. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams, my favorite deck, for your daily tarot messages. All right. I hope all of you are having a beautiful, blessed day. Remember, you guys, this reading is for all signs. It's for the collective. It's an intuitive reading. Um, take what fits. Leave what doesn't. Thank you, Spirit. Right, Monday. Right. So we have I've been working on the weekly, so I have Tons of cards in front of me. All right. All right, so the overall energy for Monday, the 11th is the empress here that's beautiful you guys this represents abundance it represents growth and expansion some of you have put in for maybe a raise a promotion you're going to be getting it for others of you if you're trying to conceive this you're going to conceive a, a baby uh tonight tomorrow soon okay within the next three weeks this is a material harvest this talks about you know planting your seeds and what you have planted has definitely started to grow and it's about to blow up and take off so just know whatever you've been doing if you feel like um, you're not getting anywhere or nothing's happening it's fixing to Right. All right, so first set of cards we have, we have the Faith, which would be the Hierophant in the original Tarot with the Three of Swords. I'm getting a divorce here. I'm also getting a death. It's already happened. Um, tomorrow may be the funeral. Today may be the funeral. Tomorrow may be the funeral. Um, Wednesday. Okay. I um, send my condolences, by the way, for whoever that message is for. Okay. This is going to be a hard time right now. I feel like there's a lot of heartbreak. Um, one of you guys, I, I feel like this is a minister, a priest, um, that has passed away. This could be somebody that you went to church and you, you've been, you know, listening to for your whole life, okay? Somebody that's in a position, a spiritual position, you have lost. Now... If this is a divorce, you were praying that it was going to be over when you go to court tomorrow or any day this week. And I'm getting here, it's going to get put off three weeks, maybe six, nine, even up to three months. Don't let that get the best of you. There's a reason for it. Divine timing is everything, you guys. And there's a divine hand in this. So it's for your benefit, okay? I'm also getting here for a couple of you, you are fixing to get a certificate, 
a diploma, maybe it's a degree. And it has to do with your beliefs, your truths. This could be, maybe some of you are starting a channel, a spiritual channel, tarot channel. Um, you're a person of service, you're, you help others, okay? Um, you've taken a class, a course, or something within this, and I believe soon you're going to be able to start your new path, your new beginning. And by the way, you know, this is Taurus energy, and it's the number 53. 53 is 8. Eights represent abundance, infinite abundance. It's going to come up out of whatever your situation is, okay? Now you have, very interesting, you have the Ace of Cups with the two of wands, okay? <laughs> so, Ace of Cups, Two of Wands. For many of you, you know, your cup has been running empty, okay? And it's time to, you know, refill it. And the universe is ready. The universe is like, hey, you know, there's opportunities here that are before you, two different paths. This could be for some of you, you've went and put in applications for a, a new job. Um, this could be a business, two business ideas that you have, a promotion, whatever it is, okay? It, don't get caught up in thinking you're going to make the wrong choice or wrong decision just because all of a sudden you get two offers and... You know, you, you're having a hard time deciding which one. You're afraid you're going to pick the wrong one. There is no wrong. There is no wrong path here. They're both meant for you. The best thing you can do is to sit down with your pros and cons. Go with the one that is going to benefit you and bless you and make you happy. Go with that one. Okay? You, it's a win-win when you, when you do that. Now, I see a marriage here becoming one, okay? I see a partnership forming here that's taking place, and it's definitely going to feed you. It's going to bring a lot of abundance into your life. see a new love here you know the ace of cups represents a new romance and love and I feel like for whoever this message is for you've got two individuals that you have been dating or you're interested in and now you've decided to make a choice um, I see it being very intense go with your gut with your intuition, your feelings, you already know who, which one it is, so it's not showing me any more than that, uh, so definitely feel like there's something to be gained here as far as maybe learning something from another person, but you are going to have a close connection, I do feel like with that Ace of Cups showing up with the Two of Wands, that there, it's a good possibility that there is marriage later on down the road, okay? I'm also seeing a contract here, you guys, that has some of you, your career, your job, your business, you you get contracts. I see you getting a huge contract that is going to just have your cup overflowing. Now we have the devil, which is the energy of Capricorn, with the four of swords, okay? So, I see where one of you is very depressed, okay? You feel like you're trapped. 
a lot of depression, sleeping, anxiety, worrying. You're in a rut, okay? This could be an addiction, and I, I always tell you guys, addictions come. Anything that you do that you feel like you can't live without, that you're addicted to it. It has you have an attachment to it, okay? Um, and it goes for people as well. You can have attachments to people. Um, you just feel trapped. For one of you, you've been sick, okay? And you've been in the hospital, maybe you just got out, or maybe you're still in the hospital. Um, and you just feel like, oh my goodness, let me out of here. I, I feel better. Be patient with yourself. Allow yourself to heal. I also, you know, I'm getting a sense of serendipity right here. For some of you, you need to get more on your money, more materialistic. You need to start thinking more about having more or, or thinking big, wanting more. There's nothing wrong with that. We didn't come here to suffer, okay? We came here to create and, you know, have these bodies and interact with, you know, others and have children. <clears throat> it's, it's amazing what we are capable and what we can do. I see something coming in here, an opportunity. And don't get caught up in thinking that you can't do it. Maybe it's something you've never tried before and you're trying to talk yourself out of it. The only person in the world that is stopping you from moving forward, breaking out of this, this prison here that you, it's self-made when the doors open. Okay? It's only you that's keeping you. Don't talk yourself into you don't have any experience or what if you can't do it and you be behind this career. Okay? If you're waiting on the perfect time, the perfect time to start or do something, there is no perfect time. The perfect time is right now. If you know that that's what you want to do, then that's the time to do it. All right. Think. You become what you think about. Reminds me of that devil. How will I think inspiring thoughts today? Think about it. Think about it. Think about those inspiring thoughts. Write them down. Journey. Your journey is measured through the appreciation of each step. How will I enjoy each step of my journey today? Enjoy the journey. One more, you guys. Wisdom. Wisdom is knowing when to use what you have learned. Wisdom is knowing when to use what you have learned. How will I wait until the right time to make a difference today? Wisdom waits. Remember you guys, wisdom comes from what? Growing, spiritual growth, challenges, obstacles. We have to have them in order to move forward and move up. Always look at an obstacle or challenge as an opportunity to transmute something that you dislike into something that benefits you. It's fun. 
okay? Plus you learn how powerful 